Hello and welcome to WLA Weekly here in our Richmond studios. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. On today's show, we look back at the home opener of the defending WLA champions of Langley Fender. We've got your week two stats and standings, and I talked to Earl Nicholson, the general manager of Nymo Timmerman. That and so much more, this is WLA Weekly. On Friday afternoon, the Quiddle Madanax and Langley Thunder completed a multiplayer trade the size which is seldom seen here in the WLA. The trade breakdowns as follows. The Adanax go to the playing rights of Travis Bland, Robert Donokowitz, Brett Hickey, and Matt Wilson. To the Thunder go the playing rights of Daniel McQuaid, Quitlam's third round draft choice in 2015, and their second round draft choice in 2016. And in roster moves, the Shamrocks have put Carson Lee Young on injury reserve. Carson, who has one goal in one game this season with Shamrocks, has been put on injured reserve list to further notice. Carson added six goals and 39 assists last year with the Shamrocks. And lastly, the Lightning Thunder have added Dave Maurice to the active roster. And on May 22nd, the Langley Thunder had their home opener at the Langley Event Center where they took on the Quitlam Adonax. In the first period, the Adonax had the only two goals, first at 4-8 by Jesse Gurin, and Jesse would score again at 13-08. In the third, it was like the A's never showed up as the Thunder got three unanswered goals, first by Iannucci at 8.01, Levesque at 9 minutes even, and Kyle Belton at 15.04 to take the game 5-3. Another action on Thursday night, the Shamrocks at Queen's Park to take on the Samabellies. Where it was a back and forth battle for 60 minutes. In the third period, the Shamrocks had the lead 10 to 4, but within two minutes, the Bellies would score three goals, but it wasn't enough as the Rocks take the game 10 to 7. Captain Scott Ranger led the way with two goals and five assists, while Jeff Shatler netted four goals and two assists. And on Friday night at Bear Mountain Arena, the Shamrocks were taking on the Burnaby Lakers, and through 60 minutes, the Rocks would keep their perfect record with a 14 8 victory. Scott Ranger and Jeff Shatler both netted three goals and five assists, while Corey Small added three goals and one assist. At the Quillam Sports Center on Saturday night, Maple Ridge were in town. After an explosive second period which saw 14 goals and only one goal in the third, we were heading to overtime for the first time this season. Curtis Dixon would score the game-winning goal. Final score, 14-12, Maple Ridge. And to finish the week off, Maple Ridge was taking on the new Westminster Sandbellies, and what a game it was. It went back and forth until the final minute, however, Maple Ridge would pull away with a 13-9 win. Curtis Dixon again with a huge night, five goals and four assists. And with that, the standings follow. The Shamrocks lead the way with six points, behind them with one game in hand, with the Thunder with four. The Burrards also with four points. Timmerman and Sandbellies tie with two points each, while the Timmerman have one game in hand. And Lakers and Adonax both still without a win on the season. We now head to the Langley Event Center, where I interviewed Earl Nicholson, the general manager of the Nymo Timmerman. I'm joined with the senior A manager Earl Nicholson right now. You guys probably made the most changes in the offseason. Let's start with the coaching. Why Caleb Toth? I think uh, he's always been kind of a natural uh, as far as uh, a player that everybody had respect for. He knows the game inside out. He, they retired his number in Calgary and uh, when he decided that he wasn't going to play this year and we knew he was moving out here, he's just a natural for the direction that we were going. So. so were you surprised when Art Webster stepped down? Uh, not entirely. Uh, three years is a long time for commuting up and down the island and uh, especially for somebody that's our age sort of thing. So. So speaking about Scott Ranger now, was it hard to, to basically not give him up but trade him? Um, yeah, I think it's always uh, difficult to, to trade a guy that you've had right from the start of the franchise, especially when he's a local uh, fellow that's, that's grown up and all his roots are in the Nymo sort of thing. But uh, we, had, we had to move ahead and do what was best for the club and uh, go in a different direction. So. Same as Corey Conway. A few weeks later, you trade him down there. What you know? What was your thoughts on that? Um, Corey's kind of a different uh, uh, scenario because he he's from Brentwood Bay, and, and that that's a long commute to Nanaimo, 
it uh, you got to go around into Victoria and up and over the, the Malahat. So he, he just found that after playing a year with us that he just didn't like the commute. So. So many are saying this is a team, a very young team, a building team, but are you thinking this team that can compete for the Man Cup this year, or are you a, re a rebuilding team? I, I wouldn't say that uh, we're going to compete for the Man Cup. Uh, we're going to compete for a playoff spot and uh, hopefully sneak in there, and then it's, it's a whole new ball game, and uh, you go from there. But it, it, it's, uh, we're, we've, we've put in some real important building blocks right away. And uh, the franchise is on, on the way to a Man Cup, I think. But I wouldn't say that maybe this year. And lastly, Earl, uh, what is your goal for this year and future years coming up? Well, I, I, as I just said, I think the goal for this year is to try and get into the playoffs, get these guys some experience. Uh, we, we've accumulated a, a great number of draft picks in the, in the next two drafts. We know that there's some real quality players, particularly from the island, coming out, and uh, we're we're looking to to be a Man Cup contender in, as we build here. So, great, thanks, Earl. Okay, welcome. Thank you for tuning into this edition of WLA Weekly here on VSBN.ca. Next week we speak to Jake Elliott, a play-by-play -play commentator here in the league. For all your local sports, stay right here to VSBN.ca.